how to use Google Trends to search keywords and topics. What is Google Trends? Google Trends is a tool used to analyze and visualize people's search query behavior for targeted keywords across various regions and languages. Google Trends will allow you to see trends for Google Search, Google Image Search, Google News Search, Google Shopping, and YouTube search. All right, so let's take you through the process of using Google Trends. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash trends dot google dot com slash trends. Once you've typed that in, hit enter and you'll be taken to the Google Trends homepage. Once you're here, before you do anything else, you need to pick the country that you want to use Google Trends in. So if you look to the top right hand corner here, you can see Google Google Trends is set to the United States. However, the country currently set for you might be different. And if you would like to change it, all you need to do is left click on this arrow here and then select your country. For this demonstration, I'm going to keep it as the United States. Once you've selected your country, you're ready to go. Now I'm just going to quickly show you a number of tools available in Google Trends. To see these tools, navigate to the top left hand corner here and hover over the three horizontal parallel lines here, which is called open menu. Just left click on it and a little side menu on the left hand side will pop up. As you can see, currently we're on the home page. However, we have a few other options here. The one below home is called explore, which is where you enter your search term or topic to use in Google Trends. The one below that is called trending searches, which are search terms and topics that are currently relevant. And below it here is year in search, which shows you what trends were popular throughout the entire year. And lastly, subscriptions, where you can subscribe to get notified for particular topics or search terms as often as you would like. The first tool I'm going to show you here is called Explore. So just left click on Explore here. So in Explore is where you enter your search term or topic into Google Trends. The Explore area is more specific and cuts out the clutter shown in the home page, as the home page also has an Explore search box too. Before you search anything, if you just scroll down, you can see some examples from Google Trends here. So here you can see a comparison between football and American football and where those search terms are more prevalent. So as you can see throughout the United States, American football is more searched than normal football. The next example is the World Cup and the one to the right of that is Fortnite. You can also see more example trends here by left clicking on this arrow here. I'm just going to continue scrolling down here just to show you more examples. So as you can see on the left hand side here you have search topics and on the right hand side here you have search queries. It's currently set to worldwide and the past 12 months all categories and web search. You can left click on any of these arrows here to filter to your heart's content. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top here to explore a custom search term here in Google Trends. So for today's demonstration, I'm going to be typing in here football. Once you've typed in your search term, hit enter to search. So as you can see, football is in blue here and it's currently set to worldwide, the past 12 months, all categories and a web search. Now I'm going to leave the first three filters here as is, which is worldwide, the past 12 months and all categories. However, for web search here, I'm just going to left click on this arrow here and here you'll have the option to select image search, news search, Google Shopping or YouTube. Let's go with YouTube for this video demonstration here and let's pay more attention to this graph here. So as you can see, interest over time is on the y-axis here and it goes from 0 to 100 and if you want to know more information about what exactly interest over time represents you can left click on this question mark here. These numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region and time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half as popular. A score of zero means that there was not enough data for the search term. All right, guys, hopefully that clarifies some things for you. And I'm just going to scroll down here just to see a bit more information. So as you can see for football, the interest by region is highest in Ethiopia, Myanmar, Nigeria, Uganda and Kenya. So you can see a nice visual representation here to the right hand side and an even better visual representation on the left hand side here with a nice map here. And if you scroll further down you can see the football related topics and related queries. Let's scroll back up to the top here and take another quick look at this line graph here. So as you can see football was trending the most worldwide over the past 12 months in all categories on YouTube search between the 6th and 12th of December 2020. So as you can see, it has a value of 100 here. Now what's cool about Google Trends is that 
you can add other search terms along with your first search term to compare them. So let's say I wanted to add another search term. Let's pick another sport here. Let's go with basketball. So all you need to do is navigate opposite your original search term here, which says plus compare. All you need to do is left click on this text here and then add your second search term. In my case, it's going to be basketball. Once you've entered it, hit enter. And as you can see, basketball is going to be displayed in red here. Let's take a look again at the line graph. So as you can see here, you have a little bar chart furthest to the left hand side here. Remember, blue is football and red is basketball. As you can see, football is currently a more popular search term with a value of 79 compared to basketball's 39. And you can see that represented clearly in the line graph here with football pretty much having a consistent higher interest over time compared with basketball, except for one particular date, which is here between the 26th of January and the 1st of February, where basketball had a higher interest over time. Let's scroll down a bit here just to see another visual breakdown here of how football and basketball compare to each other for the YouTube search. So as you can see, basketball is more prevalent in North America here, whereas football is more popular search term on YouTube worldwide. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top here. And again, if you wanted to change the search engine for Google Trends or all you need to do is left click on this arrow here. Let's go with another search engine here. Let's go with web search. And there you go, you get completely different results. All right, that pretty much summarizes the explore tool for Google Trends. Let's move on to the next tool. I'm going to navigate to the top left hand corner here and left click on this icon. And let's go with trend in searches this time. So just left click on trend in searches here. So the trend in searches tool is pretty self explanatory. It pretty much shows you the searches which are recently popular. So as you can see, daily search trends is currently selected. And these are the current daily search trends which are popular here in the next tab here, you have real time search trends. So all you need to do is left click on it and then you'll get different results. So as you can see, this is for the past 24 hours and it's all categories. You can change these filters to your liking and you can also change the country. All right, let's move on to the next tool. So I'm just going to navigate back to this icon here and left click on it. And the next one is year in search. Let's left click on year in search here. So for the year in search, you can see what exactly was popular across Google search engines from an entire year standpoint. So as you can see, currently it's set to 2020 here on the top right hand corner. You can left click on this arrow and select your desired year. So let's leave it as 2020 here. And then all you need to do is just simply scroll down and you'll see what was trending in the particular year you selected and the particular country or globally. So I'm just going to keep it as the United States here. As you can see, it's broken down very neatly here. So as you can see, here are the searches. Here's the news. Here's the people. Here's the actors, athletes, babies, beauty and to do's, definitions, games. And here you have some how to's, lyrics, etc. It goes on for quite a bit here, guys. And it looks like I've reached the end here. So I'm just going to scroll all the way back to the top here. All right, that pretty much gives you a nice background for the year in search tool. And now we're going to check out the final tool here offered by Google Trends. So I'm just going to left click on this icon here at the top left hand side and left click on subscriptions. So now you're on subscriptions. And as you can see, I don't have any subscriptions. To add a new subscription, all you need to do is click on the plus symbol here. The plus symbol is located at the bottom right hand corner here. So here it is. And all I'm going to do is left click on it. So as you can see, you can add a particular topic here or you can add trending searches. So let's go with topic here. You can subscribe to receive updates about noteworthy events for that particular topic through your Google accounts email. You can enter the topic here and you can select the region. So I'm going to leave it on worldwide here. You can also pick how often you want to receive updates on that particular search topic or search term. So you have an option between about once a week or about once a month. Once you've entered your search term or topic in here and configured your subscription settings, all you need to do is left click on on subscribe here. So I'm quickly going to demonstrate this. So let's go with my channel name here, which is Websplaining and the search terms should pop up here. So I'm just going to left click on that. I'm going to leave it as worldwide and for how often about once a week. Once I've done that, just left click on subscribe. And there you go on the bottom left hand corner, it says subscription added. And you can also visually see it here. So as you can see the item or the search term is Websplaining, the region is worldwide, the type is topic and how often about once a week. And that pretty much is how you use the subscription tool. All right, guys, that's that also concludes the video of how to use Google Trends. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Why is it so hard to let you go?